Well, they trusted him, then paid a contractor nearly $200,000 to build their retirement home. Yeah, two years later, that home remains unfinished. Their retirement is on hold indefinitely. Now they're reaching out to 8 on Your Side senior investigative reporter Steve Andrews because they want to warn other people. Yeah, unfortunately, only after this couple got mixed up with contractor Danny Musgrove did they discover the reports I had done about him. Unfortunately, he's taken them for a ride on the same path he's taken others. You don't have to look hard to find shabby work by Danny Musgrove's company, DRAC Construction, on Tim and Beth's Matana's retirement home. There's holes all around the house, patched like this, on every wall of the exterior because they didn't put enough rebar in. The county flagged it. They went back and they hammered and chiseled away, put the rebar in, and that supposedly is a patch to cover it. The Smetana signed a contract with DRAC owners Danny and Rhonda Musgrove in March 2017. We've paid them $190,250. The contract reads the house should be finished in 12 months. The last check was for $32,000 six months ago, and he hasn't done a thing since then. Before he went MIA, look where Musgrove conveniently placed the garage door rails. And if you wanted to walk out of this door, you couldn't walk out of it without knocking your head on that. Openings for door jams, too small. And they actually chipped it away at the lentil on two doors so that the rebar is exposed. To make matters worse, a supplier filed a lien on the property because Musgrove failed to pay his bills. We're going to have to drain our 401k, our retirement funds, uh, to pay for all this out of pocket, including we have a lien against this property. Jay Levy knows what that's like. He heard from suppliers last year when Musgrove turned a room addition into an expensive mess. I'm paying for quality work and I'm not getting any of that. Janet Mears paid Musgrove $8,900 to buy special windows for a sunroom he never built. Instead of being smooth concrete, whoever did this work, it looks like they never did concrete work before. Musgrove also cost the Smetanas a lot of time and money, forcing them to change their life's plan. We should be retired. We should have retired a year ago. But this has been going on for over two years. And we can't retire when it's like this because we have no idea how much money we're going to need to finish the job. Court records show that two other customers are currently suing Musgrove for breach of contract. A Hillsborough County concrete supplier is suing him for bouncing a check. A Polk County supply company confirms Musgrove stiffed it too. Now, financial institution is uh, foreclosing on his Sefner property, on which this builder of fine homes lives in an RV. Wow. Yeah. And, and they're dealing with this mess. This, these folks who wanted to retire, I mean, what's next for them? What are they going to do? How sad is that? You know, a letter did go out to Danny Musgrove informing him that the Smetanas are firing him. He has not responded to my request for a comment for this report. In fact, the only time he's ever spoken to me is when I called him about those special windows for that sunroom that he never built. Mm -hmm. Became very angry on the phone for some reason. Referred me to his lawyer, who I've called several times, and they've never gotten back to me. But we're going to stay on this and watch him. Uh, all right. Thank, Thank you, Steve. Steve. Sure. If you have a problem you want Steve to investigate, call our 8 on your side helpline at 1-800-338-0808.